Now don't freak out vintage electronic collectors. You'll see my point in all this in a minute. What you see before you is a Sanyo model DP47460 47 inch LCD television from October of 2010 so this TV is just barely two years old and I use this TV to demonstrate why I refuse to spend money on a modern television set too many times these things come in over here with some fault or another and more often than not it's a serious problem such as a bad circuit board or a bad display panel something that is very expensive to fix if you can even get the part it's not like it was in the old days back when manufacturers were required to keep parts in stock for seven to ten to fifteen years I don't think there's any kind of restrictions on that anymore pretty much all they're obligated to do is honor the warranty and after the warranty period if it goes out you're screwed this TV came in for repair the other day and what it does it comes on for three seconds and shuts off and I'm pretty sure the trouble is the main circuit board which is hard to get and expensive when they do turn up and I was just honest with the customer I told him I said I could fix this TV but you're gonna invest a large chunk of money in repairing this set and for a little bit more you could go buy another TV and I said even if we get it fixed within a year you're probably going to experience another catastrophic problem it's going to cost another several hundred dollars to repair so he thanked me for my honesty and said do whatever you want to with the TV so I'll turn the lights off and show you what this piece of junk does let's see power comes on shuts off comes on shuts off comes on shuts off now after the third time it will not power up again the only way I can get it to power on is to unplug the set let it reset and we repeat the process all over again another thing I don't like about these newer TVs is how fragile they are yes they're very lightweight this particular TV weighs less than a traditional 19 inch CRT set but they are very fragile had a friend of mine tell me that his brother's LCD set was sitting on top of a coffee table and it flipped over and hit the floor a carpeted floor and guess what that was the end of the LCD panel and had that been a traditional CRT set it would have probably still been working so let me turn this thing around and show you the inside of this set okay here's the inside of the TV looks quite a bit different than what you'd see in a traditional CRT set here's the main circuit board that I suspect that's the problem here I think it has something to do with the audio and these TVs have numerous shutdown circuits in them so if it detects the least little fault somewhere it shuts the whole TV down and that's what I think is happening here these boards are so complicated that it's really difficult to work on them number one 
there's a whole lot of surface mounted devices on these boards. Many of the integrated circuit chips have hundreds if not thousands of terminals on them. And given the fact that, that service information is very hard to find on these sets, you know, there's just really not a whole lot you can do with them. And in the case of the power supply, that's a little bit better. A lot of times the only thing that goes wrong are bulging electrolytic capacitors and you know that's easy enough to fix but besides that and other minor problems when one of these sets dies you're usually stuck. Now take TVs like this old Curtis Mathis black and white set from the early 60's are these old color TVs here? Are those old Sylvania color TVs back there? Or even these Sony CRT TVs here from the 90s and early 2000s? Those can generally be repaired. Most of the circuit boards use standard through-hole components that are easily obtained and service information is widely available for them. So unless you have an issue like a bad CRT or a, or a severe lightning strike, then you can usually keep those old CRT sets going. And I can promise you this old black and white Curtis Mathis TV, once it's properly restored, I can guarantee that it will be much more reliable than this piece of junk here. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't enjoy spending hundreds or even thousands of dollars for a television set just to have it crap out in a couple of years and discover there's nothing I can do to repair it. I'd a whole lot rather pick up an old TV like this or something like those over there for next to nothing fix them up for a few dollars and watch them for several years and when they break I'll fix them again. If they can't be fixed I'll just pull another TV out of my stash. Now if you're going to buy a new TV the best advice I can give you is to stay away from Walmart. Most of the crap they sell is second-rate junk made in China and that's where this set came from, by the way, is Walmart. Try to buy your television from a from an electronics store that specializes in electronics. And probably do better to take out the extended warranty on the set. That way, if anything does go wrong, they'll be forced to either fix it or give you another TV. And buy and try to stick with a name brand like Panasonic or Sharp or well that's actually about the only two I can think of that I would probably consider buying pretty much everything else is junk and even the best made TVs today are, they're not going to last 20 years like your grandmother's old RCA or Zenith console did you can forget that but at least they'll last, a good one should last longer than this cheap crap from Walmart. Okay, I could say a lot more on this subject, but we're running out of time on the camera. But you get the idea that I have no plans of wasting my money on this kind of junk. And given the fact that there's nothing that's on TV that I really care to watch anyway, about all I watch is reruns of old... TV shows that I have recorded on either tape or DVD and I can watch those just fine on my old 19 inch color TV or any of my old black and white sets or whatever. I can still figure out what's going on. Okay, thanks for watching and more to come later.